Here we are uh, making a gauge with white mortar. We've soaked our lime up in a bucket, mix a uh, lime with a drill in a bucket, and we're opening up a ring. Noticing we're le leaving a little lime on the mortar board that keeps the molding plaster or the gauging plaster from sticking to the board. This We're pouring the water in the center. This is called making the gauge. It's adjusting the amount of gauging plaster or molding plaster we're using to lime. Here we're going real heavy, one to one. One part molding plaster, one part lime. Making it very super heavy. The next step is to sift our molding plaster into the lime ring. Put paper on the lime that keeps from knots of forming from spilling molding on the lime. This is not important for make for just a patch. For finishing over brown mortar, yes, we want to take really good steps to uh, ensure that uh, the mortar's not all lumpy. Making a patch, we aren't that picky. We just want to fill a deep hole, fill it fast. We want mortar that sets fast. We usually fill a big patch or even a ceiling in the same day. Here we've got two mortar boards going. We're uh, fixing a real big patch. Now, the important thing to understand here is we're filling around the outside edge first. This forms sort of a water dam. Ideally, the water should go toward the center and never run into the floor. The first step is very carefully fill a ring. We're making a second ring around the outside edge. We're using both molding plaster and gauging plaster. The reason is when I run out of molding plaster, I'm going to use gauging plaster. The uh, advantage of molding plaster, it tends to be a little harder. It has a finer grain, but it floats more in the water than the gauging plaster does. They're about the same. Molding plaster is made for moldings, and it gets really hard. If you let this mortar set or patch set for three or four days, it's going to be really super hard. It's going to be difficult to scratch. You're going to have a very solid, durable patch, which should last forever. Fast forwarding to filling the center in. After our center ring is filled in, then we fill the center in. The molding plaster tends to float on the surface, so we fill the top. Uh, now this is a wiggle test. See how soupy the mortar is. You can wiggle it. You can see, well, it's, it's going to be a little soupy when we beat it up. Now we're cutting a ring in the ring. This avoids water from running in the floor. If we're finishing again a ceiling, we're going to let this molding plaster soak up for 15 or 20 minutes to make it easier to mix and lump free. We aren't doing this here. We've got a big patch. So we're just uh, beating it up. Here the mortar's a little soupy. We've got to sprinkle a little more in. Mortar should be sprinkled in, sifted in, not just dropped in in clumps. You don't want clumpy, lumpy. You don't want to dump clumps and lumps. You want to sift it in. Now we're beating the center up first and beating the outside, or rather the inside, of the lime in with a molding plaster first to keep some water and the soupy mortar in the inside running into the floor. You should be able to do this on a red carpet without getting a drop of mortar on the floor. Except I'm not going to try it. <laughs> I'll put a drop cloth down. Here we're beating the ring in or the lime ring into the molding plaster. Uh, this is really gauging plaster. We changed it on you. Now notice we can cut another ring that keeps mortar from running into the floor. And we're beating in that into the center. The, the method is mash, mash, mash. Mash it up. Mash it down to the board every single time. When it's fairly well mashed up, no need to get it really super good. We don't want the mortar super good. The longer you mix this, the faster it sets. Now the next step is to fold the outside into the mortar and beat it in. Fold it up. Fold it up. Fold it up. Hey, you aren't listening. You aren't folding it up. It's okay. Now the color should be fairly uniform. We don't want a real uniform because, again, the more you mix it, the faster it sets. We want to get it barely good enough, then start putting it on the ceiling. We fold it up, fold it up, fold it up, 
round up the mortar board, and we're about ready to put it on. Ooh, slippery hawk, hawk sweat. Let's get a little more and try again. Ooh, it's still slippery. Yeah, we already got a little lath up. We got everything covered really good. So we're going to start scratching on the metal lath. This will set fast. We can scratch, double, and finish all same day, the same time. 